Hi guys! Welcome to Stanley's Lighting Channel! For today, being our part 2 of Lighting for Homes, we will be sharing with everyone how do you choose between a surface mounted downlight or a recessed ceiling downlight. Now what is the difference between these two of them? We will also explain in this video as well. Um, First of all, to decide between this or this, a surface mounted one or a recessed ceiling one, look at your design plan. Are you having false ceiling? If you're having false ceiling where all the cablings are concealed within a partition board or a gypsum board or a fake ceiling, some place that you cannot see, then high chance you will be using a recessed ceiling downlight. So it looks like that with a clip here. Okay, now how do you know also whether do you have a false ceiling or do you not have a false ceiling? Generally, if you are not having a false ceiling, you would also have electrical casing, those plastic rectangular plus uh, casing running across your ceiling itself where all the cablings are inside. For a false ceiling, generally you do not see the cables or the casing being exposed running across your ceiling or across your wall. So that's the difference. In any case, back to where we are today, if you're having a bare ceiling, that means a concrete ceiling, a ceiling where you have your casing running across on the surface of your wall or on your ceiling, then there will be a good chance that you can choose only the surface mounted kinds. Now, the difference between the surface mounted and the recessed ceiling kind is I would say, um, the methods of installation, the maintenance as well. The methods of installation is what you can see is today I've made a thick board here. I made a cutout size similar to the hole, right? What I'll do is I'll fit this light through the ceiling and you can see how what your electricians would also do. So first of all, the cabling to put through your ceiling, right? And then this clip over here, open it up. So this is where it would actually go into your ceiling itself and latch on it. So by pushing out the spring, make sure that this spring don't flip over and it hits your face. Right? Push through it. Push through the light. Okay, and then what you have is Basically, once you put through the light into the ceiling, the spring will fall back and push against your ceiling board, thus holding the lighting in its position. So this is how it is. Okay. A recessed ceiling downlight. For a surface mounted downlight, how we would do is actually here. We will first unscrew the ceiling cap or in this case, the surface mounted cap. Okay, normally for surface mounted downlights, it will also come with a set of wall plugs. What's the reason? Well, when you drill to your ceiling, you'll put a wall plug to secure the screwdriver so that it is more sturdy. Okay, a wall plug that probably may look something like this. Right? Now what we have here is once I unscrew it, this plate here comes loose, right? This is the plate that will install to your ceiling um, directly. So with the wall plug, what you will do is you will drill through. You can actually see that there's this part here. All, some of the diff different lights actually have different configuration, but generally it's the same. You will have holes here whereby you can drill it through to your ceiling directly, put in your wall plug and you secure with a screwdriver. Oh, sorry, and you secure with a screw. That's about that, right? Leave the center hole empty because this is where your cabling will be. So once you secure this to your ceiling, with the cables that is coming down, you can actually just push your light up. Okay, assuming this is currently in your ceiling, you push your light up and close it. Hold it there with the screw secure it to the sides of the base or secure it secure the light with the surface mounted base screw in and you're all set to go 
make sure you secure both left and right side first or up and down side first so that the weight is balanced. Okay, so this is an example. Okay, use a magnetic screwdriver if it's easier for you. And that's it. So, when do you choose to use a surface mounted downlight or a recessed ceiling downlight? Is there any difference in terms of the brightness? The answer is no. Generally, the difference is just in terms of the way that each of the product is being installed onto the surface. Aesthetically, are there any differences? Yes, right? Surface mounted downlight tends to pop out of the ceiling. Does it look ugly? No, it doesn't. Look at your design plan. You can some of the homes can have very beautiful surface mounted downlights, and also by incorporating it within the whole design element of your home, it looks integrated and it looks beautiful as well. There is no certain saying that a surface mounted downlight is more beautiful or a recessed ceiling surface mounted is more beautiful. Ultimately, it really depends on your design plan as well. So that's it for today and I hope you enjoy the session today. Do join us for the third part of our series where we actually will describe to you more lighting selections or ways of how you can select suitable lightings for your home. See you then. Bye.